effort on that circle there, Lauren. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, guys, to Cobb Hill Burial Ground. This is the second oldest burial ground in Boston proper. And you're standing at its peak. And this is where I like to play a little game. It's very self-explanatory. It's guess how many tombstones are in Cobb Hill Burial Ground. Give a guess. A lot. <laughs> Boy, if I had a tombstone for every time. Let's see. Yeah, the Any guesses? No guesses. Other than a lot? 1,500. 2,000 was the closest. Wow. And we're stopping there. <laughs> we can't beat that. <laughs> there are 2,300 tombstones here in Cocktail Burial Ground. But that number is down from 3,000. For those of you who are good at math, that means that 700 tombstones got up and walked away. And I can actually point most of them out to you. In fact, if you look outside Cops Hill, you'll see these beautiful brick buildings, and they all have strong, sturdy foundations. And way back when, what was going to be easier for you, taking your horse and buggy, going 10 miles south to Quincy for the granite quarry, chopping out a piece of granite, bringing it back here, laying that down, or hopping the fence into Cops Hill, finding a couple large stones, cleaning those up, laying them down, calling that a day. The second option. And a lot of people took it. In fact, that building right there is the highest number of intact tombstones. In its basement, about 40. You can actually make out some of the writing when you go down there. The funnest part about it, it used to be a nursing home. <laughs> now, now not, all, not all the stones were used as foundations. In fact, there was a baker in the north end. She was a lovely lady, baked bread for everybody. And one day her baking stone broke. And her lovely husband, who cared very much about her and very much about his income, said, darling, don't worry, I'll go get you another one. He takes a nice long stroll to Cops Hill, finds a nice big stone, takes it out, cleans it off, brings it home, and she loves it. She's like, wow, when thanks, this is a great size. Makes you wonder what she gets for other holidays, but she's super excited about it. <laughs> and that night, she baked bread for the whole North End, and it quite literally rose from the dead. <laughs> you know, you could giggle. It's it's the yeast you can do. <laughs> All right, that's the entirety of my bread joke. Fun. Passing it off. Follow me this way, guys.